But first, investigator Scott Lewis uncovers new details into what may have led up to the shooting that killed a teen and put his grandmother behind bars. Good evening. I'm Diana Lewis. And I'm Joanne Purton. Good to have you with us. The investigators have learned that the teen violated probation on the day of the shooting by testing positive for drugs. 7 Action News investigator Scott Lewis is live at the Oakland County Jail where the grandmother is locked up. And Scott, what kind of information have you uncovered? Well, Diane, I've learned that 17-year-old Jonathan Hoffman was considered uh, to be a threat to someone, although the records don't specify who. I've also learned that there was a lot of tension in the home between the teen and the grandmother over his drug use and that the tension escalated on the day of the killing. The question everyone is asking is why. Why would this petite 74-year-old grandmother of nine allegedly open fire on her own grandson killing him? New information uncovered by the 7 Action News investigators suggests she may have been in fear of her life for some time. A key date is March 17th of this year. On that day, records show 17-year-old Jonathan Hoffman was charged with possession of marijuana in Farmington Hills. That very night, police were called to the grandmother's home. According to the grandmother's attorney, when police arrived at the home in this gated community, Jonathan Hoffman was outside and he was out of control. He was calling his own mother obscene names, yelling at his grandmother, yelling at the police. They were able to subdue him, and the grandmother decided not to press charges. Less than a month later, on April 12th, Hoffman is convicted on the marijuana possession charge. The order of probation says Hoffman, quote, represents a credible threat to the physical safety of one or more persons, but does not say who those people are. Hoffman is ordered to get drug treatment, stay away from drugs and alcohol, and report for random testing. About two weeks later, Sandra Lane goes to this gun shop in Oakland County. She buys a Glock 17 just like this one and gets lessons on how to use it. Fast forward to May 18th, the day of the fatal shooting. According to court records, Jonathan Hoffman tests positive that day for the drug known as K2 Spice, violating his probation. According to Lane's attorney, an argument broke out between the grandmother and her grandson, and that's when the gunfire erupted. I mentioned that Hoffman allegedly called his mother an obscene name when the police came in March. The mother and his father were not there at the time. They're divorced. They both live in Arizona, and relatives are saying that the younger Hoffman, the teenager, was staying in Michigan in order to finish high school. And coming up new at 6, we'll have new information. You'll meet the neighbor who heard the shooting go down. He actually had a bullet whiz over his head, got the teenager on the phone and talked to him after he was shot while he was dying. Joanne, back to you. Scott, does it sound to you like the grandmother's attorneys might be preparing a case of self-defense? It kind of sounds that way. I just talked to Jerome Sabota, his attorney. You'll hear from him at 6 as well. He's not totally tipping his hand, but he's saying that the grandmother was in fear, and she was in fear when she bought the gun. Yeah, it certainly sounds like that from the documents as well. Scott, thank you very much.